Hi friends, welcome to Ofa Studies YouTube channel. This is part 23 in Azure Databricks playlist. In this video, we are going to discuss about secret scopes overview in Azure Databricks. So there is something called secret scope which is available as a concept inside the Databricks. We have to understand that. So this video is a, like a theoretical video. I will give a theoretical idea about what is this secret scope. In our next video, we will be creating the secret scope and we will be creating a secret there and then we will try to access those secrets inside the Databricks notebook as well. Before watching this video, I will strongly encourage you to watch my previous videos and then come to this video. Especially try to watch my 19th video where I created a mount point. Why? Because in just a bit, let me explain you that. So let me go to Azure Databricks workspace. So this is my storage account actually. I have a storage account called Blob Storage Mahir and inside that storage account, I have a container called Sample Container. Inside the container, there is a uh, employees.csv file and uh, right now I am under the data folder, right? So let me go back to the sample container level. So inside the sample container, I have some data as well. If you see, there are multiple folders and files and everything. Okay. So in our part 19 the video, we created a mount point for the storage account. So what is mount point? Mount point is nothing but like attaching your external storage with a Databricks file system. Again, what is Databricks file system? Databricks file system is Databricks own file system where you will have some folders and files and everything. All this we have discussed in our previous videos. All the videos in my playlist are in the sequence order. So that is the reason before watching this video, watch all the videos previously so that you will make sense of it what I am saying. So let me go to this workspace here. If I go to compute under compute, I already created one cluster called text cluster. And then if I go to workspace and then inside the workspace under the users under my name, there is a notebook called mount notebook. This we created in our previous videos. So let me open this notebook. So inside this notebook, there is something called Databricks utilities we have discussed, right? And inside which there is a file system utility. Using this mount command, you can mount any external storage with a Databricks file system. That means attach the external storage with the Databricks file system. That means Databricks local file system. You can think like that. Once you attach external storage with the Databricks file system, you can access that storage account folders and files and everything as if you are accessing a local file system. Here, to make use or to create a mount point inside the Databricks file system, using this mount command, you need to supply three values. One is source. This is going to be like your storage account path to which you want to create a mount point. If you see here, this is my storage account name and this is my container name. So that means the entire container I am mounting it here. And what is the name to the mount point? This is the mount point name I am giving. And I have discussed about this extra configurations parameter. So inside this extra configurations parameter, as a key, you need to supply this fs.azure.account.key, then the storage account name, blob.core.windows.net. And as a value, the storage account uh, account key we have to supply. So what is account key in our previous videos we have discussed it. If you want to access this storage account, so every storage account will have there is something called access keys. If you go to the access keys here, and then uh, you, once you go to the access keys, click this show keys. So these are the access keys using which anyone can open that storage account and try to access the data inside the storage account. So since my Databricks wants to access the storage account, I am creating a mount point. While creating a mount point, mount point should be able to open the storage account, right? So for that purpose, we are supplying that access key here. But if you see, this access key is here hard coded. That means if anyone opens this notebook, they can clearly note down this account key and they can violate it. I mean, they can use this note account key in their own code and they can connect to your storage account and they can steal the data, they can corrupt the data, they can delete the data. So, so that's the reason. Uh, this is called secret actually, right? Key is nothing but like a secret or password, right? So this is this is not a way to actually having the storage uh, storage keys directly on the code. What one should be doing is they should store these keys in some secured place and then access those keys here inside the notebook using some way. We should not hard code the keys directly or we should not hard code the secrets directly inside the notebook. That is the best practice actually or else it is a violation of the security, right? So because if, if you create a mount point like this by hard coding the account key like that, then if anyone opens this notebook, they can easily see that account key and uh, it can uh, cause any kind of security violation, right? So, to handle these scenarios, there is something called secret scopes concepts in the Azure Databricks. So, this is what we are going to discuss. What is secret scope? We will try to theoretically understand now. And then, how this is secret scope actually help you to store the secrets and then avoid the manual hard code of keys inside the notebook. That is what we will discuss in our upcoming videos. So, to understand what is this secret, secret scope, 
in this scenario whatever i said there we get need to manage these secrets instead of hard coding those secrets inside the notebook right so whenever you want to manage the secrets that actually starts with creating a secret scope so let me go to whiteboard here so let me go to whiteboard so here let's assume secret scope is nothing but like a one account okay inside your workspace or in a key vault okay so think like this is a secret scope so in the data bricks first you need to create a secret scope so this is called secret scope or or scope you can call anything so inside a secret scope you will create something called secret let's assume this is secret okay so for this secret you will give one name okay and inside this secret name you will store some value for example in my scenario whatever i said i want to take this entire account key as a value and store it into some secret with some name so maybe let's assume uh, i i will be creating a secret scope called uh, scope 1 okay so this is a scope 1 this is, inside this is secret scope 1 i may create a secret which is name called like blob blob storage key so this is the secret name inside this scope 1 and inside this secret i will be storing my actual account key so whatever the value you were you will be seeing it here i will be directly storing all that value here okay all that password or all that secret here so like this you can create multiple secrets inside one scope so scope scope is a parent secret is a child here okay and if you see this presentation there are totally 100 secret scopes for one workspace you can create for example if you take this is my workspace right right now whatever you are seeing here this is my workspace and my workspace name is adb mahir so for this workspace i can create 100 scopes and inside each scope i can create i can create multiple secrets to store some passwords or secret values okay so this is what the theoretical explanation of this secret scope now this scope right it can be created in two ways for example if you if you see the presentation that the, there are two types of the secret scopes one will be azure key vault backward scopes and another will be databricks backward scopes what it mean is let me go to whiteboard so let me erase all this content whatever here we are seeing right now so uh, azure key vault secret back secret scope means for uh, if you have seen my azure key vault playlist you know that in the azure world anyone can create something called key vault inside the key vault account they will create a secret and inside the secret they will store the secrets or passwords or whatever it is right so please watch my key vault playlist if you don't know this so you can use these secrets which are there inside the azure key vault account into your databricks notebooks so for this case you need to create a scopes which are backed by azure key vault so any scope which actually go and try to fetch the secret from the key vault account called azure key vault backward scopes think like that so azure key vault backward scopes will not have their own secrets these are the scopes which will actually refer to azure key vault account and from that account they will take the secrets and give you back okay so that is what i have written here as well see this if i if you see the next slide azure key vault scopes actually refer to the secrets which are stored in the key vault account so for their own they don't have any secrets we will be in the data, azure data bricks we, you will be simply creating a scope alone so this is scope directly going to access azure key vault account and from the azure key vault account whatever the secrets available there they will fetch it back and give it to the notebook and inside the notebook maybe in the mount command or whatever whenever whatever the need wherever the need you can use that key what you got from this secret and do your job and there is another thing called data bricks backward scopes this data bricks backward scopes actually stored within the databricks there is something called encrypted database so this is all will be handled by databricks service itself automatically so databricks service what it will do it will create a database which is encrypted no one can see the data in it so inside this database the secrets will be stored along with the values whatever you pass so in case of this databricks backward scopes the scopes will be actually created and inside the scopes the secrets also will be actually created and whatever the passwords or secrets you will store inside that they will be stored actually entirely within the azure databricks service itself how it will be stored it will be stored in some encrypted database okay so this is the theoretical explanation of this uh, explanation about this scopes and everything 
so in our upcoming videos we will be seeing the practicals of this one as well so in short remember that there will be something called a scope and inside the scope you will be having a secret and inside the secret you will be actually storing the value whatever the secret value okay so this this hierarchy you have to remember okay scope and inside the scope secret and inside the secret you will be having the actual secret value or actual password and databricks notebook will fetch it to fetch that there is something called the databricks utility uh, secret utility okay so in our past videos we have seen right there is under db utils you have something called secret utility if you want to know on the db utils execute this help command this help command so let me attach this cluster here so right now the cluster is in a off state so it will take a little while to start the cluster and run the command so let's wait for the cluster to start and execute the command here great now if you see under this database utilities you have a utility called secret so this is secret utility will actually help you to get the secret values from the scopes okay so inside the scope you will be creating a secret right so you need to supply the scope name and the secret name so that it can fetch the value which is stored inside the secret scope and give it back you into the notebook so here what we will do is instead of hard coding this key directly something like this we will be using like this db utilities dot secrets dot so under the secrets you will be let me execute this help function on the secrets utility to see whatever the commands available there so let me execute this by hitting shift enter button see there is something called get for this you need to supply the scope name and also secret name so what we will be doing secrets and then to the secrets we will be using this get function and inside the get function first parameter will be your scope name let's say you created a scope called scope 1 and then you created a secret with called maybe like secret 1 or blob storage 1 whatever maybe so you need to supply both the names so what it will do it will go and fetch the value which is you stored inside this secret and give it back so usually you store the account key so the account key will come back here and then mount point will get created properly so all this we will be seeing in a practical in our upcoming videos okay so i hope you enjoyed this video thank you for watching this video please subscribe to my channel and press the bell icon to get the notification whenever i add videos thank you so much